the maestro of market predictions, Jeremy Grantham, has sounded the alarm bells with a dire warning. In a recent episode of Bloomberg's Marin Talks Money podcast, Grantham, the co-founder and strategic mind behind asset manager GMO, made headlines with a chilling prophecy that sent shockwaves through the financial world. In order to get the market down to a level where it would typically outyield the long bond by 5%, which it should, which you could argue it should, uh, the market would just sheer arithmetic, the market would have to drop by more than 50%. This is not my forecast. I, I have a very uh, genteel forecast that anything below 3,000 would make me uh, think that it was reasonable. And if everything works out badly, which it sometimes does, I would not be amazed if it went to 2,000 on the S&P. Um, but that would, that would require uh, a couple of wheels to fall off. And wheels tend to fall off in the great, in the great bubbles unraveling. But it doesn't mean they have to. So, uh, but it would be unlikely not to get to something close to, to three, 3,000 on the S&P. Graham doesn't mince words. He's predicting a seismic shift in the financial landscape. Brace yourselves for a potential 30% crash in the S&P 500. And if the economic wheels start falling off, we could be hurtling toward an unprecedented 50% nosedive. Picture this. The benchmark stock index currently riding high would need to plummet by almost a third to hit the 3,000 point mark. And Graham isn't ruling out the unthinkable. A descent to 2,000 points, a jaw-dropping 53% decline. A self-proclaimed bubble historian, Grantham has a track record of making bold predictions that often materialize. Having accurately called the dot-com bust and the financial crisis, he now warns of a looming burst of the super bubble encompassing stocks, housing, and commodities. The market guru unveils his bearish outlook, attributing it to stocks being heavily overvalued and relying on the so-called Magnificent Seven stocks, including tech giants like Apple, Tesla, and Nvidia to prop up the S&P 500. But here's the twist in this financial thriller. While Grantham paints a picture of economic turmoil, we are delving into the enigma of his investment strategy. In this video, we're dissecting Grantham's 13F filings for Q3 of 2023, unveiling three stocks he's bullish on, with stakes increased by over 10% compared to Q2 of 2023. Let's dive into his portfolio and determine whether these stocks, Grantham's secret weapons, are truly recession-proof in the face of an impending crash. First on the list, is United Health Group Incorporated, ticker symbol UNH. United Health Group emerges as a stalwart in Jeremy Grantham's portfolio, and a closer look reveals a compelling investment case. With a history dating back to 2005, UNH has been a consistent performer in the veteran investors' holdings. Grantham's strategic moves reflect a nuanced approach, with a notable increase in stake witnessed in the last quarter, underscoring his confidence in the stock. United Healthcare, the flagship arm of UNH, stands as the largest health insurance provider in the United States, boasting over 50 million members. Its diverse portfolio caters to individuals, employers, and government agencies, offering comprehensive health coverage, including medical, dental, vision, and pharmacy services. The expansive network of healthcare providers, numbering over 1.2 million nationwide, ensures members seamless access to quality care. The strength of UNH lies not only in United Healthcare, but also in its subsidiary, Optum, a leading health services company. Optum operates across three key areas, pharmacy benefit management, care coordination, and data analytics, providing a comprehensive suite of services to the healthcare industry. With Optum RX managing prescription drug benefits for over 100 million people, UNH exhibits a robust presence in the healthcare landscape. Financially, UNH shines with impressive year-over-year -year net income growth of 14% in Q3 and a corresponding growth in top-line sales. The company's track record over the past decade is exemplary, showcasing consistent growth in both revenue and net income. Between 2013 and 2023, UNH witnessed a remarkable increase in revenue from $122 billion to $359 billion, representing a commendable CAGR of over 11%. Despite facing headwinds in recent times, UNH remains resilient, with share prices displaying historical attractiveness. 
trading at 1.4 times sales and 23.7 times net income, UNH's multiples, when compared historically, appear to be at the lower end of the range. The historical trend of upward multiples underscores the market's recognition of UNH's intrinsic value. Next on the list is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol JNJ. Johnson & Johnson stands as a cornerstone in Jeremy Grantham's investment strategy, and the detailed analysis of its trajectory reveals a compelling investment narrative. Grantham's consistent approach to J&J, &J, holding it as a very long-term stake, attests to the company's enduring strength. Dating back to the first 13F filing in 2005, J&J's position has witnessed strategic adjustments, with notable increases in 2019 and Q3 of 2022, reinforcing Grantham's confidence. From a growth outlook and valuation perspective, JNJ shines with a robust financial position and a history of high return on capital employed (ROCE). Consensus estimates project an EPS growth from $10.08 in 2023 to $11.93 in 2027, indicating a healthy annual growth rate of 4.3%. However, Grantham suggests these estimates might be conservative, considering JNJ's consistent ROCE of 50.7% over the past decade. The Graham PDE, factoring in a 4.3% growth rate, points to JNJ's current PDE of around 15 times being 12% discounted from its intrinsic value. Notably, J&J's 3.2% dividend yield, double the S&P 500's, and a manageable 47% EPS payout ratio add an attractive income component to the investment. The company's AAA credit rating from S&P further underscores its financial stability, with a 26% debt-to-capital ratio, well below the 40% considered safe by rating agencies. J&J's status as a dividend aristocrat and dividend king reflects its commitment to shareholders, with minimal risk of a dividend cut, even in adverse economic conditions. From a valuation standpoint, Dividend Kings pegs J&J's fair value per share at $182, presenting a 17% discount compared to the current share price of $152 as of November 29, 2023. With an anticipated total return potential of 8.8% annually, J&J outshines the S&P 500's 9% annual total return potential, making it an attractive proposition for investors. J&J's stellar financial results for Q3 of 2023 further support its strong position in the market. Despite challenges such as declining COVID-19 vaccine revenue, J&J reported a 6.8% year-over-year growth in sales to $21.4 billion. The medtech segment and strategic acquisitions fueled this growth, with operational sales growth reaching an impressive 9%. The company's robust pipeline, with numerous indications in various clinical trial phases, positions it for sustained growth. J&J's ability to generate ample free cash flow, totaling $12 billion in the first nine months of 2023, affirms its financial prowess and capability to reward shareholders through consistent dividend increases. Next on the list is Merck & Co. Inc., ticker symbol MRK. Merck emerges as a solid, long-term investment in Jeremy Grantham's portfolio, reflecting a strategic commitment to a company that has been a reliable performer in the pharmaceutical industry. The journey with Merck has seen adjustments over the years, with notable stake increases and reductions, aligning with Grantham's discerning investment approach. The current stake, constituting 1.96% of the portfolio, indicates a continued confidence in Merck's prospects. Now, while pharmaceuticals may not be the flashiest sector, Merck's track record and recent developments make it an attractive proposition. The company's stock has demonstrated stability, recording a 43% increase over the last five years, averaging 7.4% annually. This steady growth, coupled with low volatility, positions Merck as an appealing option for investors seeking reliable returns. Merck's commitment to shareholder value is evident in its consistent dividend payments, hovering around the 3% mark. Over the last five years, the dividend has grown from $0.48 cents to the current level of $0.73, cents, reflecting an average annual growth rate of 8.7%. The company's reliable dividend hike cycle adds to its appeal, providing income-oriented investors with a compelling reason to consider Merck. The company's recent financial performance and outlook further contribute to its bullish narrative. 
Q3 results revealed a 7% year-over-year sales growth, with key drugs like Keytruda exhibiting a robust 17% growth rate, reaching $6.3 billion. Despite challenges, Merck's strategic collaborations, such as the one with Daiichi Sankyo, showcase its proactive approach to broaden its pipeline and sustain growth. Analysts project a forward PDE ratio of 12.1 times, indicating an undervalued position for Merck. With an expected annual EPS growth rate of 14.4% over the next five years, the stock presents an attractive total return potential of 17.3%. This, combined with a generous dividend yield of 2.9%, positions Merck as an appealing choice for retirees and investors seeking stable income, with the potential for significant upside. Now, while the pharmaceutical industry comes with inherent risks, including high R&D spending and regulatory uncertainties, Merck's conservative payout strategy, coupled with a sub-50% payout ratio, provides room for continued investments in R&D and potential acquisitions. The company's financial stability and disciplined approach to dividend growth further mitigate risks associated with the industry.